Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching. In today's reading we are going to take a look and see uh, whether your person is the right person for you. Okay, so the person that you're currently seeing, that you're currently connected um, to and with, or you know whether you're in uh, a relation, commit a relationship with this person, or whether you've just recently met, we want to see if this is indeed the right person for you. It is going to be a general reading, so please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out. My email address is going to be listed below the video. So take a moment, think of your person, and we want to see if this is the right individual for you. I'm seeing that someone's thoughts aren't necessarily consistent with uh, what's actually going on in this relationship or this connection and it's potentially what could be causing some sort of um, unnecessary doubt or reservation um, even if you guys even if you do feel the doubt currently right now in the energies even if you have your moments of doubt if you have your moments of reservations I feel like you still feel the chemistry that the both of you share the connection you feel very connected with this individual this person feels very connected to you they feel very drawn to you um, I'm also seeing that there is quite a fairy tale like notion um, about the way in which you met or about this relationship overall um, it just feels like there's a bit of a like an alchemy to maybe the way you met to the feelings that you get when that you get when you're with each other um, this could be someone that is romanticizing you guys um, it is some it could be someone that you're romanticizing maybe you do have um, some you know romantic notions about this person about this relationship the chemistry is there between you and this person and that's always a good thing it's always a good indication that this is a good match um, but there is a bit of um, a bit of a disharmony in the energy so it could be that you and this person maybe are experiencing some doubts okay um, perhaps you or your individual he has crawled into a bit of hermit mode someone he feels very withdrawn from the connection which is making the other person feel very disconnected from them um, but at the same time I feel like even though you guys may not necessarily be talking or not talking as much or there is some sort of disconnection there's some sort of energy of like doubt of reservations of hesitations um i think these doubts are only going to be fleeting okay and i don't think that they're here to stay so too much questioning if this is you because you know you are air signs guys you do get in your head a little bit too much so if this is you overthinking and over analyzing and like really scrutinizing and dissecting every little thing then you know too much questioning is um it's not it's not a good thing it's not do, doing you too much of a service because it's a you know it could you don't want to start complicating things um and you don't want to start you know constructing not that you don't want to start constructing stories that aren't necessarily there but um, I just feel like you really um, given the you know the suit of cups um, energy you'll really want to trust your gut okay because you guys sometimes get in your head a lot so take trust your gut trust your intuition um, and it will allow you to take a closer look to figure out you know why you feel what you feel with this person if you have been having doubts about this person and if it's only been popping up those doubts only once in a blue moon then chances are you know you and this person are doing okay I think for a lot of you you kind of want to trust your own assessment of your relationship but I can see that people from the outside are vouching for you and I think like your connecting energies outside perspectives um, like family and friends are pretty supportive from what I can see they're supportive of you and this person they're happy for you even if you guys are going through a period where you guys aren't necessarily communicating and you're not talking to each other um, I feel like their family their close family and friends have only good things to say about you and I feel like you know vice versa um, your close family and friends um, have you know a very supportive for you and very supportive of you and of this relationship 
Um, and that's always a good sign. That's always a sign that, you know, this person may be, um, may just be the right person for you. You share a lot of, from what I'm seeing, you share a lot of hobbies uh, in common. Um, and I'm seeing that this person, the both of you really like to spend some time with each other. You're both, but you're also both, com like you're comfortable spending time with each other, but you're also comfortable spending time apart. Um, and that's great because it's absolutely, you know, having that aspect of your own personal life is absolutely important for a healthy relationship. Um, and it's also the one thing that's going to help you build trust, going to help you, you know, build trust in the relationship. For some reason, right now with the current energies, things don't necessarily seem fair and balanced between you and this individual. Okay, um, Six of Cups, there is some sort of... It feels like some things have shifted. As of recently, um, or maybe not so recently, there's some things that have shifted for you and this person. I'm also seeing that you know, the Nine and the Ten of Swords here... I'm seeing that maybe this is someone whom you have ended things with, okay? Um, and this maybe this is someone who has hurt you because swords are a weapon. Swords are a weapon, um, you know, they can be very destructive. Um, and maybe this is, because I see a lot of doubts or I see a lot of, like, questioning um, that's going on here. And maybe you're questioning whether you feel like you've made the right decision to walk away from this person or whether you've made the right decision to distance yourself from this person, or whether the both of you made the right decision by, you know, um, coming apart. So I feel like this person is, and I feel like that's amplified in the energies, and I feel like, you know, if you find yourself doubting whether or not you've made the right decision here, I feel like your person is thinking the same thing. And I feel like even though you guys may be apart right now, even you may be even though you might be disconnected and not necessarily communicating or talking with one another, because I do see this imbalance, I do see the, the, this disharmony, or even if you guys, you know, are communicating, there's just been some sort of shift in the energies, and you feel it, and they feel it, and, you know, something's going on, so I do feel like, regardless though, you, you guys are still emotionally or energetically connected with each other, and this is why you feel each other, and this is why I feel like you guys um, are probably... Um, most likely picking up on each other's thoughts, each other's uh, frequencies, each other's energies. You feed off each other's energies very well. I feel like you guys have created a very strong emotional connection. You guys created a very strong emotional bond um, with one another here. But I'm seeing that there may have been, um, you might be going through some sort of like turbulency or some sort of tumultuous uh, situation or phase of the relationship. Um, there might also be, I feel like there's someone here that's carrying a, lo a lot of, um, like a really heavy load of pain in their energy. So maybe this is what's also getting in the way of this connection. It's, it's, I feel like it's normal and I think it's actually a good thing in a long-term relationship. So for those of you who have been long-term with this person, you potentially might experience a lot of, um, like, physical, emotional, um, even professional changes um, within the connection. And these, this isn't just going to affect you, it's also going to affect your partner here as well, um, the person that you're connected to. Um, I feel like it's always, it's always a good thing to kind of assess your person's reaction to, you know, your personal growth as a way to decipher whether or not you guys are truly compatible with one another. And I can see that this person, you know, does share in your joy. This person is someone who is happy for you. They're happy for you when you succeed. They're happy for you when, you know, you get what it is that you want, when you achieve your goal. I don't see that this is an individual that does, you know, that wants to hold you back or is holding you back. I feel like this person is more so holding themselves back, if anything. And I think that this is what's you know, this is what has gotten in the way of your relationship, or this is what's currently getting in the way of your relationship, because this person knows that, you know, the emotional connection that they share with you, it is very genuine, it is very authentic, it is very sincere, perhaps it is unlike anything that they've met before. Um, and I can also see that, you know, they're 
close connecting family and friends are totally um, supportive of this relationship and totally supportive of this connection. But at the same time, there's just something, there's these little, um, I guess, little sprinkles of hesitations, of doubts um, within the your person's energy. And this is what's causing them. So they're holding back and it's what's also causing this connection to be held back. I'm also seeing a bit of a red flag because I feel like there's inconsistencies or disharmony and I just feel like someone's words and actions don't necessarily correspond and that could be the other thing that's potentially you know hindering uh, or stunting the growth of this relationship so you know they don't necessarily if they say they take you out to dinner they don't always do that or you know that some you know you know the saying action speaks louder than words um, that proves very much to be true and I and I can see that, you know, there's a bit of a red flag when someone he doesn't necessarily follow through on the things that they say they will do. I feel like this relationship, this connection that you have with this person is incredibly stimulating in a sense that it's, you're learning something new about yourself, you're learning something new about, um, you know, the other person. Um, and I think you, you know, you'll notice that during your connection and during the duration of this relationship and your connection with this person you kind of you grew into maybe more of a well-rounded version of yourself or they have at the very least so are they right for you um yes i do think that this is someone that is right for you but at the same time you know no relationship is immune from its problems its issues or its arguments at the same time i feel like um some things need to be worked through here okay um, I feel like communication is absolutely important especially for those of you that are in a disharmony or a disconnection with this person you know someone he has really withdrawn into themselves and instead of sharing and voicing their concerns um, and their thoughts and their feelings they're kind of pulled away which is making the other person a little bit confused um, a little bit doubtful and you know questioning all, all sorts of things and the validity of this relationship so I feel like especially if you guys are in no contact no communication it might be good to open up the channels of communication back up it might be good to just um, you know um, speak your truth um, voice your concerns because I feel like you know there's absolutely so much potential there's absolutely so much long-term potential but I feel I don't know if it's someone's insecurities that are being projected onto this relationship and someone's insecurities being projected on the other person and it's also what's causing this relationship to struggle um so i feel like someone he maybe needs to sit with their pain um sit with their thoughts sit with their emotions and you know confront some some of their own pain individually before they can sort of um you know work through and untie the knots on some of these uh on some of the issues of this relationship um okay guys and these are your messages thanks for watching and listening bye